Hi, I'm back with part two of the video and I have the L'Oreal Magic Lumi on my face and I realized while I was letting the foundation set up a little bit to see what happens, I was watching the video back that I just filmed and it looked a little yellow when I was putting it on. Um, in real life, in person, I don't think it looks yellow like that, but it did when I played it back. So just to let you know, it's not that yellow. It does have a yellow tint to it, though, but it, it's not, it's a match for my face. It just looked weird when I watched it back. So, now we're going to continue with the rest of my face makeup. Let me take off my glasses. The first thing I'm going to do, and I have makeup, like, laying all over here, so I'm going to try and keep it as organized as possible. And the first thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. And I have this Chella eyebrow gel that I got from my Ipsy bag. And I'm just going to use that to brush through my brows. And let me grab my mirror so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to brush them into shape. I have really light eyebrows, so I like to do a little something, something with them so you can see them a little bit. And this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon in Taupe. And I'm just going to run that through it as well like awkward sitting on this stool. Normally I sit in front of a full length mirror that you see behind me when I'm filming my other videos in the other room. So this is just a little wonky, but that's okay. We'll make it work. You would see how my camera is sitting up on top of these jars and bottles and what have you. You would be I'm afraid I want to bump it and knock the whole thing over. Okay, that looks pretty good for eyebrows. I'm going to run that um, gel through it one more time just to give it some more shape. Okay, moving on to eyeshadow. My friend Deanna sent me this Stila palette. It's called Vibrant in Vancouver. So I'm going to use this today. I'm going to put the middle shade all over my eye. And I want to use some gold and some green and some of this lighter shade for in my crease. And I'm just going to put the uh, this color here all over with this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. Whoa, I have some. That never happens. My eyeshadow base is not sticking to my foundation. I never have that happen. Okay, let's fix that and move on. So I'm just going to dust this lightly all over my eye. I'm making some wonky noises there, sorry. Do some more of that. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Just dusting that all over. I feel so unorganized in here. Okay, so that's down. And I'm going to use a little bit of this for under my brow as a highlight. So, do that. Now I have the brush in my hand. And we're going to do a little bit. I have my glasses on, so I messed up my foundation. Um, in the inner corner with the Sigma E30 brush. So a little more of that light color just in the corner of my eye. Then I'm going to use another um, e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to put down this gold color, which is up here. And then after that, I'm going to use the green on the outer corner. And then with this blending brush from Mary Kay, it's a crease brush, I'm going to just put a little bit of that matte color. So we're going to go in with the gold first and put that all over my lid. It's weird. Pick up the mirror, put it down. Pick up the mirror, put it down. I'm sorry. It's so awkward. And I didn't want to do the foundation and then the full face makeup all in one video because it'd be like so long and boring. And I didn't want to, you know, speed this up because it doesn't really take me that long to do my makeup normally. So I wanted you to see and hear everything I had to say. Plus, me and editing, I don't really have anything to edit with. So that also makes it hard. <clears throat> a little bit more. Just 
gold down by my eyelashes. Okay, so the gold's on. Now we're gonna go in with some green, just on the outer portion of my eye. Obviously wearing brown today, so I thought it would be nice to wear something in these colors to pick up on my outfit. And a little more green on the other side. a little bit of fallout from the shadow, but not much. Nothing that you just can't just brush away with your finger. And then we are going to do the brow, or the brow, the crease color with this brush. It's just that matte. I'm just going to go back and forth in a windshield wiper motion just to get the crease. Okay. Dust that off a little bit. These are very pretty eyeshadow colors. They're nice and light. They have a good pigmentation, but they're not like overpowering. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna add a little bit of gold to my crease as well. Just for some more shimmer. I like shimmer. Blend that out up to my brow highlight. I have hooded eyes, so like I take my eyeshadow color a little above where you normally would or you'd never see it. So that's on. Then she also sent me this Savvy Soft Glide Eyeliner in gold. And I'm going to put that on instead of black today because I'm feeling a little risque. So I'm going to add that to And I'm going to put on a little thicker and wider than normal just so it opens the eye up and you can really see that. Can you see the difference between the two? It does give your eyes a, a brighter look to it, which I like. It's fun. My stomach's growling. I'm hungry. Didn't really eat much for breakfast today. All right, so there's the eyeliner. I am going to look, add a little bit of black, and this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Zero. Can you see that? And I'm going to put that on too, just a little bit on the outer part. I should have added like a, I'm going to go back and do something under my eye. I'm just going to add this to the outer portion. doesn't really want to go on too well anyway with that gold, but I need to add a little a little dimension. I never really think about what I'm doing with my makeup in the morning. I just kind of go with it. So hopefully it turns out, which for the most part it usually does. If not, you just go back in again and redo it. Whatever. No big deal. Okay. So I'm going to get that eye palette back out and one of the elf things again. And I'm going to put a little bit of gold under my eye. Hopefully I can do this one handed. Normally I pull down my eyelid. I'm going to dust that on under there a little bit. Alright. Looks good. There's the eyes. <coughs> and then, oh I bumped my elbow on the counter. I'm going to put on my Cody Airspun Face Powder in Translucent Extra Coverage with my Elf Kabuki brush. And I just shake that up and then I use whatever's in the lid. Just gonna, man, I'm having some trouble here. I'm just going to dust that all over my face. under my chin, under my eyes, okay, that looks good, there is that, then I'm going to use a little bronzer and this is the NYC Sunny bronzer with the Face Secrets powder brush from, and this brush is starting to shed really bad. You see that? It's time for a new one. But I'm going to use this bronzer 
just lightly in the usual places. I hope this video isn't too boring. But like that. I like this bronzer because you could just warm up your face slightly, but you're not like going crazy with it. You know what I mean? I do not like this foundation. Today. I don't like it today. I think once I play around with it a little bit and try some things out, maybe I'll like it more. You know, try different applications or whatever. Next, I'm using the Mare Luminizer from the Balm. Just so pretty. I love this highlighter. And I'm going to go in with the same brush. And I just tap it ever so lightly. Powder all over me. And go down my nose lightly. And the tops of my cheeks. Kind of just, I keep hitting that mirror. I'm not used to holding a mirror and trying to apply my makeup at the same time. Okay, so there is the highlighter. And then with the blush, I'm using the Real Techniques blush brush along with the pearlescent pink wet and wild blush. Like that. And this is very pigmented, so you really just need a light hand. Make sure you tap it off. Just brush this on the apples of my cheeks. I am so sorry I keep hitting the brush with the mirror. This is very, very pigmented. And then I want to go in again with the e.l.f. Kabuki brush, if I can find it. I'm so sorry. I'm just going to blend that in. Just blend it all over my face again. Just everything is well blended and looks, you know, presentable. Okay. Last two things is mascara and lip product. So the mascara is the L'Oreal Voluminous in Carbon Black, which I really like, and my eyelash curlers. So we're going to curl the lashes. I really like this mascara. I have this thing with mascaras, though, that I really like them better when they start to dry out. Like, when I first get a mascara, like, I just got a new Maybelline Falsies. And I really like that mascara when it's drier. So I'll open it up a couple times throughout the week, you know, just to get a little bit of air in it. And then I um, I like it better. Here's what the brush looks like on the Voluminous Carbon Black. I'm just going to apply this on the lashes. This is, oh man, right on the cheek. Don't you hate when that happens? It's so very annoying. So I'm going to apply this mascara, and it goes in really nice. <clears throat> I am getting it everywhere. See, you change a new place in your room, and you're using a mirror, and you mascara all over. I'll get that off later. How annoying. I hate when that happens. So I usually do one eye, then the other eye, then one eye, then the other eye, until I like how it looks. I have to say, do you ever put a foundation on and you're like, just want to wash it off and start again? I really want to take this foundation off and start again. Like, I'm not happy with it at all, but I'm already ready. And I have to go to Walmart to get groceries. It's not like I'm going to redo my whole face, so I'll just deal with it. It's not that terrible. And you don't know how it's going to be unless you try it. Like I said, once I mess around with other ways to apply it, it might be better. The, um... I think a beauty blender. Sometimes on the foundations are like a really dry consistency. I'm sorry I'm on this willy stool again, so I'm trying to get comfortable. When the foundation seems to me to be a drier consistency, sometimes the beauty blender really makes it go on a lot smoother, you know. So we'll try that and see what happens. And then the under lashes. I 
believe I just got mascara everywhere today. It's dangerous. So dangerous. So I went to the mall yesterday, just briefly, into Old Navy. And they had, like, nothing left. Like, after Christmas, their, like, inventory was pathetic. But they had some good sales going. So I went to film a haul of what I bought at Old Navy. It was just a couple things, but some really good deals. It was like a get it before they're gone type of thing. I'm spending way too much time on my mascara because I'm talking and not paying attention. So we're going to let it go at that. I keep going forever and then it gets to the point where it's clumpy and then it's a disaster. So this is the L'Oreal Balm in Heavenly Berry 318. I'm just going to stick that on my lips and I'm almost gone. I need a new one. I just like it because it's very sheer and very creamy. Just put that on. All right, and my makeup is done. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I think I'll fill in later throughout the day in the description box on how this mas mascara, still on the mascara thing, on how this foundation performs throughout the day because, like I said, me and editing aren't friendly, and I don't really have this know-how or the software to do it. So. I'll just write down in the description box how it wears throughout the day. Right now it is 1.30 in the afternoon. I'm going to go out, get my groceries, and come back. And I'll fill you in how it, how it progresses. And I'm sorry, but this video ended up being like 17 minutes long. But thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.